Hello and welcome. I thought I'd bring you in with me. This is my attempt to fix our Pelanier. Um, yeah, new farmer start. So you've literally got to come in, create the game, and then you've got to go out and put your stuff in. Now, the one bad thing I'm going to sort of explain straight away is well, at the minute we will only get the farmlands that we originally start with, which is those that are all scattered about. But the bad thing is, we have all of these in our game, including this and this. Now the placeables, the animals, all of those type of things I can bring with me. These fields will be as, that will be as, all of these things and these will be gone. All of the placeables and collectibles, they too will come if I switch in all of my placeables and items and all the rest of it. The one thing I cannot control... I don't know how to do it yet. I have learnt a lot so <laughs> with all these mud glaciers that you get, but I can't control what crops go in, not yet. It might be a little thing, but I haven't learned how to, learned how to do it yet. So, yeah, I cannot control it, which is a, a pain, because well, I suppose we don't, we're lucky we'd only got one. Um, yeah, the contents of the silo, all of it will come across, uh, and I'm hoping that this fixes our issue that we had. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, because I, I, the only time I've ever known this is that the game itself goes bad, and I, I literally stopped. I could go into Pelenia, and I could literally um, stop all mods, and it, you could go in that. But the second you put the mod switch mods on, it crashed and burned every single time. I tried removing lots of different mods, the latest mods. I didn't tick the ones that came in with the mods that worked the time before and they didn't work and the game crashed but every single time. So this is my like final attack because this is a popular let's play, I really don't want to lose this. And I've got backup saves, it's not that, it's just that uh, yeah, something is not a, a right with the uh, original one. So I'm going to save that and I'm going to bring you back in with the hopefully everything working correctly so see you shortly. Right, I'm starting in exactly the same place. Our money's totally wrong, that can be changed. But you should see now that we have actually got an awful lot of fields that we did have before. We have still got everything. One thing I'm going to say that is different, you will see that we've still got all of our placeables, but ground levels, they're not the same. No, 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 they don't, they don't come across as they were before. So, yeah, wow. No, yeah, yeah that, and that's what I mean. That there shows you what we did to the ground layer to actually make that work. This ground layer remains the original ground layer for the thing. And it's often the ground layer that actually goes wrong. Now, we can try and see if this is going to work. All we need to do is save it. And if it saves, which it has... It does mean that my original save game had for some reason gone corrupt. Tried to do backup save games and everything. So this is the best we can do. It really is. And obviously the fields, if I show you, it is, yeah, it's not the nice grass that we did. It's the horrible because it was never meant to be. It was, <laughs> it was an animal pasture. So this is obviously different. Now there is going to be some goods. And that is the fact that we'd already harvested... And it is August, so we've sort of gone back in time. Uh, and some things are harvested. Yeah, that for some reason is harvested. And I suppose, yeah, it depends on August on... Obviously these fields were someone else's. And then all of a sudden we've come in and barged in with our XML files and said, Oi, this is ours. And obviously if the farm had already done these fields also the this field here if you remember we joined to that one none of that type of thing happened but the things that we put down like that yeah all of that work i did on the beautiful thing on the uh, yeah i mean the, the things that you place your items they all exist but you'll notice there's no concrete around the ground layer is completely different so yeah we need to do quite a lot of painting the money was about 1.4 1.4 i've got a screenshot of it so i can put that back all of our equipment is as is but layers uh, all levels and things like that you can see there's that's a little bit weird you've got grass coming through so this is what i found I had, to, I had to do this on hobo's hollow exactly the same issue 
the silos sometimes you've got a re I know a lot more than I did yeah you get that still looks quite level it's got to be level even a slight amount different and all ah, okay well that's a little bit because we had ours right so for some reason even though that was right on ours we've got cows in the water now <laughs> that's annoying that's a I wonder if there's been a map change then on the because we got that right and the position is the identical position to where we were before and this time the cows are in the water so that's a little bit odd it is and yet it's the right orientation I wonder if I can sort of cheat and do the level out so that they the river shrinks a little I, we've got to do something but I thought I know it is a very popular let's but I really didn't want to give this up without a fight to make it work everything else is going to be right the oh, the number of animals we've got should have the same amount of stuff in the silos we could see there was lots of manure down there yeah if we can look the milk ah now the milk okay so there's some things that haven't come across ah, and i suppose that's yeah let's have a look in the silo i'm i'm posting this sort of like by uh, way of a we should have most things though that we're in the all my life that's wrong oh no it's not I'm a new factory I <laughs> keep forgetting about that triticale spell that's all right the mustard it's 10 tons oh why is it we had 17 tons of that pig food three tons every single thing that we had though should be on exactly what it was before selling 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 because it's exactly the same item every single variable of that is in the same state that it was in before Oh no, we have got 17 tons. Fantastic. Yeah, so for some reason we've got 7 tons somewhere else. Ah, uh, the milk is in there. Yeah, the cheese we were doing. Old style mustard was spawning. We got that right down to a bit. So that's remembered it. Did we... Here's the point. Is the... I'm going to tab for once because this is more of a news article than anything else. Yeah, we're going to have to do a bit of work on that. Now that is a point. Right, we need to go to the farm. Yeah, we do because that—that's the bit. I really hope we haven't lost the. Uh, where are we? There, we'll do nicely. Uh, Section maturity, health. Uh, Thirty out of thirty. Food, seven fifty out. I'm glad that that is one thing that I am really chuffed with that giants have done, and that is that food. I would have had to remind that to go in every single day. That has been fixed, definitely one hundred percent. Now, have we still got the 23 out of 23 up there? That's the thing that was... This seemed to be crashing and burn. But you couldn't actually... Yeah, 23 out of 250. So the pallets are up. So we're right back to where I was before, which is to grab those pallets out. That seemed to crash and burn things. I'm hoping it doesn't this time, but we're not going to save it. Like, at that point, we're going to save it before. So, yeah, everything else is pretty much including the slurry because these these were all hours the amount of food you've got in every single bit comes across so all it was was a corrupt map now there was manure in there that's gone so for some reason that the slurry is that that's weird so how come the manure did that that is strange so basically what i'm trying to say is we've won and we've lost really has that got narrows on please tell me it has it has so we shouldn't actually do any damage apart from the little... Uh, I think we should be alright. Really? Yeah. We were very fortunate that it was that. It was the one tractor that was on the field. Right, okay. So that should have manure in it because everything comes along with it. Now it's lost some manure. There's some weird happenings to manure there. Because that... Oh, no, no. No, it isn't actually. No, that is true. I did actually manage to get quite a bit to... Uh, gone in one of the last episodes so that is also correct so the only real casualties are the yeah, everything else should be spot on ah. well it's not <laughs> i thought that was the toolbox it's exactly the same box as you have with the toolbox so yeah this is all good that's all good that's good these are all spot on obviously these are were well, never ours but it is what it is there's nothing we can do about it really 
while we've got this opportunity, we have already saved it. So nothing's changed. I'd just like to try something to see if... Because there's been updates on the map. And I do wonder, does this now allow you to sell just that? Yes. I did wonder if um, MA7 Studios would actually have a go at... You know, like, so that you could do just what you wanted. But no, 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 no. We don't. That's the entire shebang. Yeah. So you, there's still certain things you can't do because it's all classed as one object, and that's why even if you do the map object hider, the, but that that's been changed to two items. So really, to make that look a little bit to re well, we won't we won't keep that. We'll keep them for now. Um, obviously, we we yeah, we'd actually sort of well, we can stick some. Productions, yeah, because it's this really stressed me out last night. Really stressed me. Out. I had to write quite a few games, go goes at fixing it. Yeah, we're gonna have to do something with that because it looks really strange that uh, by the power of telekinesis we have concrete blocks just like sitting in the. But when we load it, I'm gonna leave that in. I'm not gonna save it at the from this point. I just wanted to do this as a bit of a uh, news article. So we will sort of. We've gone back in time. Uh, 111,466. Oh, yeah, of course, somebody just sold that, yeah, which we won't have sold. So I need to put the 1.4 million in back in. But the one bad thing is, which is good in a way for us, sort of, we've lost corn, but we will have gained a lot more wheat. And let's have a look actually what we will have gained. Of course, it's not going to be, it is, we can see that that's all totally ready to harvest. It is August. Uh, 34 and 32 are going to come around. 21 and... all oh my life, we've got a lot of harvesting to do. We've got 20, 19 on hours. Yeah, we own 18, but it's empty. 19's been done. 21 and 20, they're all done. We shouldn't own 9 anymore. That's gone. Uh, 86. Yeah, so animals are the same. We've got to do something over here. So what I'm going to do uh, over the next few days is I'm going to fix it. Yeah, you, that's another casualty. But that we can sort of fix. Because we can... Uh, eh, can we? We can sort of. Yeah, just for those who've never sort of seen this done. There's a... The, the levelling tool gets rid of stuff. But it's, sometimes I've seen the grates not work quite right. And then you've got to like do it again. So this 111 quid... 111 thousand in dollars, Mr Smith. Yeah, if we go to that level, oh no, you're on soften. Yeah, if you do that, there are quite a few little cheats that you can do with this as well. Yeah, because you shouldn't really be able to do that. If you can't reach it, do that, and you can. It, it literally goes to the edge of the thing. It's about the best you can manage it to get rid of the the grass, so it doesn't totally ruin and. Gonna have to need to go a little bit bigger. Yeah, now that's so. Now what you need to do, yeah, and of course the level takes everything back. But I'd, I'd sooner have a little tiny bit of. So what you want to do now is go level again, but from the higher bit and take that back. Got a little bit too mad now. So if we now soften, we should take that right back just to the point where you can see the grey and that will now work so if you're ever in this thing especially if you're on PC and that you can recover a game with a corrupt save as I have just sort of shown you how really it's uh, obviously there's, there's, there's work still involved but when you've got the hours in like I have put in on this and that people love and, and not, you know like it really is worth having a go at trying to sort of fix it and the other thing is I never was very happy with this so we can see there's nothing in it again this does give us rather a unique opportunity on this particular one to actually try and do a better job yeah if we go just below that level wow oh did someone else's field Bad. Right now, we need to go a little lower again. Let's try to get that back to the concrete. Wow, 
that's actually... Oh, that's Gordon Bennett. We might be better, actually, to actually replace it now. Yep. And I think now it, that we could probably put one in, and that should be fairly level. We'll probably have to do something to this end, like we would have done before. The one good thing is, which I will show you, is it should, should, remember your course play course. I think we changed 86 back to... Standard course as if we just try and I need the yeah, I need the mower just to show you. Yeah, that there's a lot of work that a tiny silo might might also what one thing I did do what I used to do this is it see if you haven't got much in here, we've only got five thousand three hundred and thirty-eight litres of traffic, it's sometimes these are just to sell it and then replace it. Any obviously at this stage let's just let's just put that in now so silos I'm trying to think is it do we go to the farmyard this time do we take uh, no because the trouble is people can sort of get used to it i've done this before on uh, an, uh, another one where you start to make major changes and people really don't like it so do you know something out of respect for everybody's you know like um, sensibilities to, to leave things as the farm actually is and has been or otherwise it just seems like it's not not the same farm is the thing that I always got the impression that everyone thought so yeah we want use of leftovers uh, which is quite a way in Oh, that's too much in here. Way too much sugar. Some of these I've never used. I've got to got to do a better job of getting these used. Here we go. Which one was it? What's the small one? Yeah. Now then, what can we do now to make that better? Because that's already an awful lot better than it was before. We just need to do something to that end to soften that. But it really was always really nasty. Really nasty. So if we can just make this less raised and I'll just basically regrass this. Or I suppose what we could do is actually do the bought grass. Have we done any damage? There? No, it's literally just gone in now. So what we really need to do is put a bit of intensity on and soften that there. We could really probably get away with just softening that to the extent that uh, the two levels will almost be like a ramp. Gotta be careful. If I do that too like that I'm gonna go get underneath again. Yeah, it's not doing much. I don't know. That. I think that's better than it was. I mean, what, it's still a bit of a bump. But I think the fact that it's flat is so much better than it was before. Tiny silo. I think we've repaired that. Repaired that. Yeah, the BGA. Likewise, that has. Yeah, we're gonna have to do the leveling trick with that. Should actually work. The only time it does anything, if you're using the BJ as just a production and you're not dropping anything off, you'll be absolutely fine. If you are and you've got to get that level, that's about right. That's actually not too bad. Yeah, because as long as you can see everything at the base of everything is the important thing to remember when you're actually doing this. Yeah, uh, no, we may as well really do it now. Yeah, even if we had to have money, obviously we know that this is, I'm not cheating, I'm literally putting this back. A lot of work goes into this. We need to, like, basically... Uh, well, we need a bit of concrete first. Around that. We could do brick for a change. That would be quite nice. 
I always think you've got to make these negatives when you've really like ha had it hard like this where that it goes you have got to make it positive we, there's an awful lot of work going to go into this to get this back something like so sometimes it's nice to have a bit of a positive so actually a bit of an improvement something to look yeah it is really I don't want to change it too much though because again for the same reasons I've already said people really don't like things to be changed enormously so a little tiny bit of uh, an improvement like this is not too bad but uh, too much and it is too much it's a plant let's go a little bit large why you really are better to put the green down first yeah the carpet sort of thing you, see, you can still see the bits of brown through that really let's just do that as well I know it ruins someone's feel but luckily it is a game and we're not really uh, doing too much so if we get rid of the little silo and just put it straight back yeah just chaffing a little tiny bit of silage so we now stick that back oh, I don't want to use V mode though let's shift the uh, tractor Yeah, so obviously this grass is just meadow grass now, which is, that's a bit of a pain. But it, see, it could be an awful lot worse. I might literally have to uh, like down sticks, you know, like literally. I would have had no option but to completely start again. So it's very fortunate that uh, uh, the weight there, isn't it? I can see it. Has been. I must admit, I, I, over the months, the years, really now of FS22, I have learned such a lot with all of the mod crashes. It's horrible, but it, I'm not as unconfident as I used to be. I, I learned so much. That mean I've not got. I've still got a lot to learn. It really is very useful. The uh, these little sort of things. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, they do teach you a lot. So let's put that back. I think we're going to level it this time, sort of in that area. I think from that point there. Right, and then it is in silos. Try not to whiz by. It's not too far now. Apologies for the silence. So, yeah, I'm concentrating. If I talk, say too much, or yeah, if I chat too much, I go straight past it. I'm not very good at concentrating on the two things. It's not much further. I'm sure it's not. Here we go. The tiny silo. Uh, all the way around. That's not too bad. So let's stick a bit of grass back down. Suppose no, we we'll, we will rip it up. Even though it's it's August, so we could probably do that. I think, to be honest, if I remember rightly, we'd actually done our last cut, so it really we've got absolutely nothing to lose. Precision farming is that the same? Ah, I've got all the settings on the standard settings, haven't I? Yeah, that's the other thing we're going to have to do. Right, we did. Have, well, yeah, we'll purchase the soil information because obviously we've already scanned it. It's the only way you can actually uh, get this done. The one advantage we've got from doing this is obviously uh, the fact that um, it as would have been out of date some of it so let's 
So we, yeah, and that's what I'm saying, really. Some of it you win, and some of it you lose. Things like this, you win in, and the crops you win in. But then the grass, we've got to do that. The ground layer, the time, you've got to do all that. So I think that is everything, really. Uh, I don't mean that we've done everything, but yeah, the tiny silo. Yeah, that's a bit awful. I can see that from here. Yeah, the, the, the ground, it's like gone set back, so we need to smooth that a bit. Or oh, we're never going to get, it's going to like be a right bump getting down to it. Yeah, there's, there's going to be a few bits and bobs like this as well. I mean, it, it is gutting. I mean, we, we did all that work and ripped that field and added them together and all that type of stuff. And that that type of thing we've got to do again. But we've also got a lot of crops from this little escapade, so it's not all bad. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Yeah, so the money will have gone back, or we just used that as like to fix the issues that we've got. I'm trying to think anything back at the farm. Oh. I've now got to... Yeah, I'd forgotten. I wasn't going to save it, was I? Now I'm going to have to. Yeah, with the these gone. That's what I mean. So I think what we're going to have to do then... Is we're going to have to like put... Uh... Yeah, you'll not be able to level from this either. That won't work. I don't think. I'm going to try that first. But I really don't think that's going to work. Your level's going to be right down here. Oh, maybe from there. If we do it bigger then. Yeah, it's still not right, is it? Going to need to raise it. the time that's just really but I just wanted to, to see what we're doing just to try to get this back to something like yeah so it's just now gonna look a little bit odd but we've got some room to stick some more things in so it's just amazing now once you get these the uh, earth moved up how you can all of a sudden work on it whereas you couldn't work on it before ah, hang on a minute it, you can't work on the right hand side for some reason. Oh, you can. Ah, that's a little bit odd. That is a bit odd. If you look at that way, you can do it. If you look the other way, you can't. I think I've ever seen that before. It's a bit of a strange occurrence. Yeah, that is a bit weird. You can't actually do anything on this area. Will it let us like, level it over there? be a little it's sort of teasing us over there very strange that is I've ever seen that before might have to put something over that uh, section to disguise it a bit like will it, let, ah, will it let us put anything there no will it let us place any buildings there that like decoration. Oh no! It's somewhat weird about that bit of land. Well, okay, well, that's a bit of a pain. It is. Yeah, I think we might have to buy a vehicle. The one thing we can do is put a vehicle there. Oh my life! That is such a mess. Ugh. It is. Now, I wish I hadn't done anything that at it now. It's, just, it's amazing. It still caused issues, this. <laughs> Even though it's better than it was. Ah. I wonder if it'll let us level. I don't think it... It's like a dead zone, by the look of it. Yeah. It's entire right hand side. Wow. <sighs> no. Nope. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Unfortunately, that is a bit of a, a bit of a bad sort of thing. I think we are probably going to have to 
buy a vehicle that we placed over there just to sort of compensate for the fact that it's and obviously i tried to do some of this level apart from that though it could have been an awful lot worse so we're back on and we'll get the money back up to uh yeah this is lucky now that actually mind you it was we did put that if the level is exactly the same and the uh, map maker hasn't changed anything, the ground layer will be exactly as it was before. If they have changed things, then obviously things will be different. And it can be like just a few centimetres. Yeah, that's actually all right. That's on the ground that it was always on. And everything here is okay. Yeah, you'll notice, say, everything is exactly where it was before. Yeah, and I think... That will do for the news article. So we're sort of back in business, but yeah, things have uh, obviously, yeah, you will notice everything, even the state of your straps are exactly in the same state as they were before. So yeah, animals are okay, feed levels are okay. As I, oh, yeah, I'm repeating myself now, aren't I? So there we go. I'm going to put this together and sort of show you. I, I'd sort of started to do this and showed it crashing and burning because I was actually doing an episode and we got. We'd got all of that mustard. We'd got all of that to, to sell it, and then it crashed and burned and wouldn't sell, wouldn't save. So yeah, that's uh, that is it. So I'm gonna leave it there. I hope you'll uh, continue to join me on Palenque. Uh, all that remains to be said is thank you very much for watching. Truly do hope you're gonna stick with me on this journey. And I'm gonna say goodbye for now. <laughs>